Well, it is a sad day at the state capitol. A longtime journalist and capital institution passed away this morning. And political reporter Jessica Arp is here to tell us more about how everyone is remembering Dick Wheeler, Jess. Well, outside of the Capitol, people may know his website, thewheelerreport.com, but if you spent any time working in the State House, you knew the journalist who'd been covering happenings there for years. Dick Wheeler, the dean of the Capitol Press Corps, died at his home this morning. Wheeler started covering legislative happenings in the 1970s following stints covering politics in Ohio and Michigan and working for UPI covering the Kent State shootings and the death of Martin Luther King Jr. Wheeler covered eight governors and followed literally tens of thousands of bills as they made their way through the lawmaking process. He worked alongside his daughter, Gwen Gunther, for 16 years. He loved what he did and he came to work with a passion to do his job and there wasn't anyone that he wasn't willing to talk with. I mean, there are people in the building who come in because they're homeless and he would talk to them on a daily basis. Okay. He knew all the pages, he knew all the legislators, he knew all the staff, he knew the executive people. He, he talked to everybody about everything. Wheeler worked all day yesterday. His cause of death at this point is unknown, but he suffered from a heart condition. As a journalist who worked alongside Dick Wheeler, I can tell you he helped educate scores of young reporters, including me, on how to cover the legislature in his gruff, sometimes cranky, but entirely well-meaning and instructive way. Lawmakers across parties have been releasing statements expressing admiration, respect, and how much they will simply miss him. Dick Wheeler was 67 years old. He was truly one of a kind. He was somebody you had to meet when you went up there. And, and you know what, Just you honor his legacy every day with the work that you do. And now it's your turn to pay it forward. That's, that's what I think that's what we all hope to, is that we can live up to what, what the legacy that Dick left for all of us. What he taught all of us. Oh, thanks, thanks Jessica. Jessica.